Um, can I welcome the uh, new um, Leader of the House to her post and also thank uh, Jane Hutt for her, the tireless and detailed way she's answered questions in this um, session um, and the great help she's been both inside and outside the Chamber. Um, could the Leader of the House arrange uh, for the Minister of Health and Social Services to make a statement about um, progress um, in the, into the inquiry into the contaminated uh, blood scandal. Um, I think we all welcome the fact that the government in Westminster has announced that there will be a statutory um, inquiry under the Inquiries Act of 2005. Um, we know that the Cabinet Office will be running the inquiry, but we don't yet know who will chair the inquiry. Um, and um, I wondered if the um, Minister of Health and Social Services could report on any contact that he has had from the uh, government um, in Westminster and whether he will be consulted or will it be any part of the decision making about who will um, lead this inquiry, which is so welcomed by so many people here in Wales. Um, thank you for those kind remarks, and I'd just like to reiterate the remarks about uh, my predecessor, Jane Hutt, who I'm extremely grateful for, uh, to myself for all of her advice over the years. And I know the members worked tirelessly in this campaign to get this inquiry underway, and I pay tribute to her efforts in that regard. Um, we, of course, also welcome the inquiry being placed in a statutory footing, not least uh, as a result of her efforts and the efforts of her cross-party group in um, expressing the views of the people of Wales. Um, we agree that the inquiry should be led by a very senior judge and that the terms of reference should be as wide as possible to get all of the answers that people want answered. I'm sure the Cabinet Secretary would be delighted to come back and give an update as soon as he has anything to report on. I'm not actually sure whether he has anything new to report on just yet. I'm sure he will do so as soon as he does. Thank you.